Thank you. Well, I don't know if you've had a chance to read my grandmother's bio in the program, but if you do get a chance, you'll probably see that she was quite a character. As a girl, her family uprooted from conservative the plains of Kansas, and she moved to glamorous Southern California. And then as a young woman, she was a lead singer who toured the country in an all-male band, singing in nightclubs, including the Cotton Club. In the 1920s, that was scandalous. She lived large. In fact, she was large. A big lady, tall and wide. Part of why she was large was that she loved good food. Her second husband was a French, classically trained gourmet chef. And she became a wonderful cook, I can tell you from experience. She came to Alaska because she'd been a college sorority sister of Vitie Bartlett. And Vitie bragged and bragged and bragged about the wonders of Alaska. So my grandmother and her third husband were convinced that they could make a small fortune smuggling liquor up the Alcan Highway <laughs> through Canada in a house trailer, selling both at a tidy profit. Well, the scheme didn't work out as planned, but she fell in love with Alaska and its people. She decided to stay, but that third husband had to go. She lived life on her terms. She laughed loud and she puffed on the strongest, most unhealthy cigarettes sold, camel non-filters. She collected antiques, loved gardening and flowers, and she built greenhouses in two different homes in Alaska that we lived in. She was civic-minded. She always volunteered to help lead charitable causes. She loved the underdog and would stick up for those she believed were being taken advantage of. She had a strong sense of justice, and if she thought somebody was dishonest, she'd use all of her powers to go after them. She was tough and often prevailed by outworking and outthinking her opponents. That's how she became the first woman elected to the city council in Juneau, and eventually then became the vice mayor. I used to jokingly tell her she was the mayor of vice. She strongly backed keeping Juneau as Alaska's capital city and hosted weekly dinners for legislators during the, set, the legislative session in our home. There she would always entertain and make sure people had a great time, but she never missed a chance to educate about Juneau's attributes. She was humble and emotional. If she were here accepting this honor, she probably wouldn't do it without shedding a tear or two. I know she'd recognize her family here tonight, her daughter Jane Niebergall, who's also a member of the Hall of Fame, her great-granddaughter Lael Bach, husband Danny, and her great-great-grandson Nico. And she would recognize the Oregon branch of our family as well, granddaughter Lisa, great-granddaughter Lauren, and her other great-great-grandson Lane. On behalf of my grandmother and our family, I thank the Alaska Women's Hall of Fame for selecting her to join this wonderful collection of interesting and accomplished women. She'd be delighted, and we are too. Thank you. <laughs>